here. Welcome to Coffee with Coastal Cheryl. Grab your iced coffee. I have mine and let's get started. This is the second in a series. I did one on cute kitchen finds and I found that I had so many products that I had to split it into two. And then when I was getting ready for this one, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have way more than I even thought. So this one is loaded 40 products. Let's get started. All right, right off the top, look at this cute little canister set. These do not have seals, so these I would not actually use for like fresh coffee beans or whatever, but they would be perfect for coffee pods, you know, tea bags, like little sweetener packets. And I just, the thing that works for me on these is I love that they're slightly distressed. I mean, see that, isn't that cute? Just a perfect farmhouse vibe. I love the font on them. Really, really cute. In fact, if you don't like the font, if you want to put something totally different in here, just turn them around. There's no uh, seal on the back, so you can easily do that. But really a nice find, these little canisters. All right, now these two, these come in four different sizes. And I will link these two, obviously. Uh, these have got seals on them. So you can pop them up, but look how pretty the glass is. I think these would be so pretty, like on a coffee bar with coffee beans in them. These are just too cute. See the wood lids, the gold on the top. I love the shapes of them. I mean, so pretty, look at that. Aren't those cute? So check those out. They come, like I said, in four different shapes i think these are just adorable the glass feels a little fragile i mean i wouldn't be banging them against each other but so pretty definitely a great find if you're looking for canisters i have several utensil holders i'm going to just line them up so you can see the sizes of them uh, the thing i love about this one i love the font <laughs> I know that's silly, but it's true. It's got the ridges on the bottom, but it's really cute. And it's also a nice size. That will hold a lot of utensils, but I love the font on that one. This one is a similar size, totally different font. It says utensils, cook, eat, live. I think that's cute. Again, ridged on the bottom, approximately the same size. Now these, these you will actually, these next two, these are ceramic. There is a cork on the bottom, so you don't scratch your counter, but these are nice and heavy. I mean, these are huge, look at these. I mean, these will hold a lot of utensils, you guys. And again, if you follow the link, you'll see both of those colors here. So pretty, I love that color. I mean, isn't that just so pretty? But look how big those are. And this one is probably my favorite utensil holder. This is from Dowin and it has cork on the bottom. See, I love the combination of the bright, clean white and the cork. So that'll give you a, a idea of the size of these. And as far as utensils, if you're looking for darker ones, look at these, these are teak. These are so pretty. I love natural wood. I mean, look at those. Can you see that? Oh, look at that, that spoon, how and obviously they're all going to be different, but these are so pretty. If you're looking for a nice, nice dark wood utensils, these are gorgeous. I love these. Now, if you're looking for affordable bamboo, this set is from Riviera. And I mean, it's just basic, cute, but this is so affordable, crazy affordable. This also makes a cute little gift. Like if you have somebody who loves to bake or somebody who's just bought a house, you know, tie a little ribbon around that. I mean, it's just so cute. And then next, which I love combining these, is a spurtle set. Isn't that a funny word, spurtle? Look at these. I think that word is actually Scottish in origin, but it's basically these little carved utensils that you can, you know, pull things out of pots, stir, you know, whisk, whip, whatever, but really a cute little set. And I like just to combine those. So lots to choose from you guys, all of it cute. All right, moving along. All right, these two, I will say these aren't as cute, but they will make your pantry or your kitchen look a lot cuter. I hate, you open up the pantry, whether it's like a 
huge walk-in pantry or it's just you know a drawer a cupboard whatever i hate all the cereal boxes look at this from oxo you get three of these a set of three pop them open pour out the cereal really easy to refill just pull them up you can see they have a rubber edge to them pour your cereal in here like a whole box like a regular size box will fit in here and again they come three and i love these no more mess you know and again you can have all three of them just taking up that much space on your pantry and look how good it looks no red box yellow box green box hate that and they stay fresh you know and if you have people in your family who don't close the cereal hubby over there these are perfect all right who here has opened a box of pasta thought well maybe i'll make a little more open the next box of pasta take half of it in there and then you put it on the pantry and then inevitably you knock off that box of opened pasta and the spaghetti noodles are all over the floor have you ever done that i'll say i've done it more than once not anymore look at this pop container again oxo rubber seal I mean how cute is that this will hold here's my cheat sheet this will hold four pounds of angel hair pasta and three pounds of just regular spaghetti noodles it says linguini but you know ignore that <laughs> I, I have had linguini in here too but obviously um i love these you could get two or three of them and i the thing i love about the oxo pops is well you know i love the way they seal but they are squared edges so these will just fit right next to each other and not take up hardly any space on your pantry shelf and no more noodles on your floor just saying all right okay this one isn't that cute either but you guys i love this this goes over your sink so when you're let's say you're baking cookies or whatever and you're just you know dirtying up a few things i mean i typically don't put those in the dishwasher i just wash them and normally i put a dish towel down i let them sit on the dish towel and you know hope they dry before i'm done with the cookies this i no longer do that because now i just wash as i go and i put them right on one side of the sink on this i mean isn't this awesome i mean you could wash them rinse them on here whatever you want also i love this for like if you're washing potatoes you know you can just drop them on here carrots whatever so convenient i this is on my um on one side of my sink almost all the time and it is available in different sizes so check it out again it's metal inside of here this is rubber and then you can you know fold it up when you're done or just leave it honestly mine's always there I mean if I have company coming over maybe I'll roll it up and put it away but I mean I think it looks fine but I really love this so so handy this has just been a game changer for me and you know how sometimes like glasses you wash glasses and you set them on the dish towel but you always have to like prop them up like with a spoon or something so they get air well not any longer you just put them on here you know what I'm talking about or they get like stinky if they're drying on that towel <laughs> but you can just put them on here you could even put your uh, sponge on here that you're washing your dishes with and it just everything dries so nicely all right next if you're looking for bread boxes I actually have three in this video here are the first two the other the third is galvanized but look at these these are huge I love these but not always for bread let me show you the first one love the font on that so cute if you don't want it for bread you can just flip it around again i like that there's no seam back here so it doesn't look weird you know if you want to just have this on your uh, pantry shelf it will hold two bags of tortilla chips <laughs> i mean you don't have to use it for bread right i mean you can just use it as a catch-all for whatever i mean it can be cat food dog food you know tortilla bags just stuff you know clutter clutter that's in your pantry you don't want to look at i like something like this you can just drop them in there and don't worry about it now this one i think is really pretty this has can you see the bamboo lid so pretty love the combination of bamboo and white 
I mean, that is just pretty. You could even use that for a cutting board, I suppose, if you wanted to. But look, two loaves of bread, again, keeps them, you know, keeps the crumbs, you know, from the bread too. I hate the crumbs. You know, you set it down, wherever you leave them, there's bread crumbs. But holds two, but again, this side, no seam. So if you just want to put, I mean, you could put your mail in here, you know, this could be a catch all for mail and it could, you know, sit on your counter and actually look pretty. But I really think this is just a cute, fine, lovely little bread box, but you don't have to use it for bread. Now, speaking of the combination of bamboo and wide, how adorable is that butter dish? Butter all the things it says. Bamboo lid, so cute. I mean, this looks actually looks fabulous. Look, let's do this. Let me just show you these together because it's just too cute not to. Look, isn't that cute? I mean, what a cute combination. And then, little salt and pepper grinders. It's actually hard to find just a plain white salt and pepper grinder. This one, I don't know if that's bamboo, maybe not. Could be maple, I don't know, but it's some sort of pretty wood. And it comes in two sizes, so check out the link. Um, these are just about always over there on my counter because I just think it's a cute combination. And this is usually the third thing that joins them is uh, this little Rachel Ray oil dispenser. It comes in a lot of colors. I like it because you could, you know, instead of getting out the big old oil bottle, you just fill this up and then it just drizzles a nice amount, which is great for if you're cooking, you just wanna add a little bit, or if you have a nice olive oil in here and you wanna drizzle it over salad. Really a nice uh, find. I use that, I'm surprised at how much I use that. I really, really like that little oil dispenser. Again, it comes in different colors. If you do a little coffee bar corner, this is a cute find. Look at these little guys. You've got your creamer, you have your sugar, and then you even have a little one for artificial sweeteners. I mean, just simple white. These look cute, like if you want to put them in a tray, or again, just in a corner by your coffee maker, especially if you're having guests over. It's just kind of fun to put out cute little things like this. I like these. Now look, at, I've got a couple of canisters coming up. This one is white, obviously. Here, let me show you the font. Isn't that cute? I mean, that is really farmhouse looking, isn't it? It says vintage storage on it. There's the sugar, the tea, the coffee, and the flour. Aren't these cute? I mean, I love these. These actually do have rubber gaskets around here. Um, a lot of the times canisters don't have, so you don't get a good seal. This one you do, you get a good seal because of that rubber canister, but I think these are really cute. I mean, look how bright white those are. Aren't those nice? Again, a nice way to amp up your decor in your kitchen or, you know, bring the pantry up a step. Just a really a cute set, very affordable too, and they're large, you know, nice, nice size. Now my next finds are actually galvanized. I've got four galvanized. If you love galvanized, galvanized in farmhouse, I mean hand in hand. Look at this right here. Does it get any more farmhouse than that? Isn't that cute? Don't you just imagine this sitting on a picnic table underneath a great big shady oak, a white farmhouse in the distance, a red barn a little further. My horse is right there in the pasture. Excuse me while I go riding. <laughs> I'm getting carried away. But isn't this cute? I mean, I just think that's adorable. And then look, also on the picnic table we're gonna have, look at this little guy. It's got the wood to hold down your napkins so they don't blow away. Also galvanized. And then, look at this cute little set here. This is what I love about these. Obviously they're, they're cute, they're galvanized. They say, old country home on them. It's a set of four, but let me show you. And they also do have um, the rubber seals around them so they seal well, but let me show you what I love about this. These come with a little chalkboard marker. So you can use these different labels. They have uh, different sizes. Look, see, you can write flour on there or whatever you want. 
but see there's this size and then there's some of these bigger sizes. These are the two sizes and then you can just, you know, put them underneath here straight <laughs> and then right on there with your chalkboard marker and then, you know, if you want to change it, you can just take a, a damp cloth, wipe off the, the, the chalkboard marker and then do it again. But isn't that cute? I really like the way it looks with the black label. I love the versatility of these. These are from Saratoga Home. I think they're just adorable. So, I mean, they just scream farmhouse. If you're looking for farmhouse galvanized canisters, I just don't see how you can get a better set than these. Because again, love the versatility of the chalkboard marker. Very clever. And so cute. All right. Next, I have a huge, and I do mean huge, this is big. Look at this, look at this bread box, you guys. This is the biggest of the three that I'm showing today. It is galvanized, obviously, and it is big. I mean, you could put, again, if you don't want it for bread, I mean, you could fill that up with a lot of bread, but you could also put, you know, like a, you know, your cat food, a bag of cat food in there. Whatever you have in your pantry that you don't want cluttering your pantry you can just go in here. Again, there is no seam back here, so it doesn't look like if you put it up there that it's backwards, you know what I mean? But isn't that cute? I love this, and it's just so easy. I love anything that eliminates clutter. All right, next, you guys, are you ready to splurge? If you're ready to splurge, look at these. There's three of them. These were, was it last year? I think it was last year. These were among Oprah's favorite things, right? So, you know, good enough for Oprah, good enough for me. <laughs> look at this set. Well, it's not a set. They're individual, but I mean, they're all the same. It's from the same collection. You have the great big rectangular ones. These are really nice stoneware from Casafina. They have really quality stuff made in Portugal. But this is the thing, obviously, I love about these is the design. I mean, look at these cork holders. I mean, are these absolutely gorgeous? So again, if you're into design, this, you know, you're going to fall in love with this. But, you know, don't overspend because you can get a more affordable casserole dish. But if you want a truly beautiful casserole dish or if you want to give a gift that someone is going to love, I mean, these are a great choice. Again, three different sizes. I love these. These are so, so pretty. All right, next, cutting boards. I love cutting boards for a variety of reasons. Obviously, I like them to cut, you know, fruit and vegetables on. Um, I like to, I actually like to have two. That way my husband has no excuse not to help me, right? So I like to, you know, have a couple of cutting boards around. But let me show you first this one. I mean, this is a huge cutting board. It's bamboo. Um, it's a variety of sizes. But if you uh, click on the link, you'll see this is the exact one that I bought. But look, see it has, if you look carefully, see the grooves all the way around. That way if you're cutting tomatoes or whatever, you know, the juice doesn't go onto your counter, which is nice. But um, I really like this, again, for the size. Great size. Again, they have a variety. The other side is pretty too. But really a nice cutting board, affordable price. Now this next cutting board is more of a high-end cutting board. It is beautiful. You can see, can you see that it has the little handles in it? You could actually, you know, you could serve with this. I mean this, you know, you could cut your steaks up, put them in a big platter, and then bring it to the table with this. This is beautiful. From John Boo's, this one is maple. That's B-O-O-S, not like you know, booze. <laughs> but this one is maple. It is truly beautiful. This is on my kitchen counter all of the time. And I'll tell you why. Isn't that pretty? I mean, so pretty. See over my shoulder, those white plugs over there, you know, the outlets, and then there's like a little, 
I don't know what that's for, but there's another little thing over there. But I don't like the way those look. So what I do all the time is I lean a cutting board over the, of those. If you've seen my photos on Instagram, my Amazon storefront, wherever, YouTube, you will know you don't see those on my kitchen counter because what I do is I put something like this cutting board and this little plant, which I will also link. And I just lean that against the counter to hide the outlets and this kind of holds it up. But I mean, isn't that a pretty combination? So simple, it looks cute and clean. And again, your cutting board is right there if you need to use it and you can cover up those ugly plugs. <laughs> I will go ahead and just tell you about the plant while I've got it in my hand. How cute is this? It's a little faux pothos. Pothos is actually my very favorite uh, faux plant. I love these. These are just so cute. I love that this has um, dark leaves and then the light leaves and the little tendrils. Very realistic looking, a little ceramic pot and I love the color. Um, I wasn't going to include this in cute kitchen finds, but I realized ever since I bought it, it's been in my kitchen. It's on my counter all the time. So I thought, well, you know, it's my YouTube. I can do it if I want. <laughs> so you guys, if you're looking for a cute little plant to put in your kitchen or wherever you want it, this one is really a good choice. Hi, can we pull up the uh, spice drawer? I want to also show you these spices. Look at this. These sets are in three different sizes. What I truly love about these are the squared edges. So if you have them in a drawer, then they don't roll, which is always nice. They just stay put. But then if you have your spices in a cabinet, they don't take up any space. See how nice and tucked into each other those are? So you're not gonna waste any space. I love the, this spice set um, of these uh, spice set of jars. <laughs> this set of spice jars, I think these are so cute and they come with the stickers. So, and lots and lots of stickers, more than you're going to need, but I really love this set. And while we're showing, let's go ahead and show the uh, kitchen organizer, um, of the, my silverware organizer. Look at this, you guys. I also have this linked. How cute is that? That is bamboo and it actually now comes in white and black. It's fully expandable, which means those compartments on the outside, you can pull them out or in, you know, just measure your drawer and then, you know, go to the link and you'll be able to tell which size to get. But I love this. Look how organized my silverware drawer is. I mean, it looks, honestly, it looks really high end, but this is very affordable, really easy and, you know, What's better than affordable and easy and cute? I mean, isn't that cute? And then what was the other thing we wanted to show them? Oh, I know, we, I have this pretty table runner I wanna show you. Look how cute this is. Can you pull that video up, honey? Look at that. Isn't this pretty? This is what it looks like and it comes in two sizes. It has this fringe on it. I mean, isn't that beautiful? It's crazy affordable. Honestly, I don't know why they're not charging more. I would pay much more for this. Um, if you buy it though, there's gonna be one string all the way across the end of here and then kind of dangling down. What you wanna do is just grab that string. It's just like, you know, just a string like this and just pull it and then all of your fringe will be freed up. They do that to keep it from getting tangled, you know, while it's in transit. But there's two sizes. I have the shorter ones crisscrossed on my table and then I bought the longer one and I put it right down the middle of my counter and then I decorate it for you know the holidays or whatever. But I love the quality of these. I mean, again, I honestly don't know why these aren't much more expensive. I mean, I love these and I bought this last fall and it's still the same price. So great deal. All right, next. I have got salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> I mean, these are, you know, these are not like, wow, look at these salt and pepper shakers. I just love these though. These are the exact kind of salt and pepper shakers my parents had when I was a kid. I mean, these are crazy affordable. I just think they're so cute. They look kind of retro. 
adorable. I've got these linked. All of these are linked. This is a great find for farmhouse style decor. If you've got the pepper, oh, look at the, the font on that. That's, that's really cute. Whoa, that way. Isn't that cute? Obviously, you've got the black one and the white one. Really adorable farmhouse set. And then look at this little ceramic set. These are cute too. I love the font on these. I'm big on cute font, especially I like black font on white objects. Look at that, isn't that pretty? There's just something about a good font that makes me happy. Isn't that cute? Cute little ceramic set. And now these, these actually come in three colors and I can't remember what the third color is, but I like this little set. Let me show you two of the colors I have. I have the classic black and white. And what I really like about these is the bottom. See the bottom? It's clear glass. So you can actually see the pepper and the salt in the bottom of it. I think that's cute. And then the same way with these. So this set comes in one more color, but uh, you know, just click on the link and check that out. So cute. Now, if you're looking for a nice grinder set, I love this one. Stainless steel. I mean, aren't, and this actually is cute. Stainless steel has the lid. Oh, that was noisy. What I like about these is, see the top? You can actually set that to make your salt or pepper uh, coarser or finer, depending on what you want. Really nice. I actually have um, pink Himalayan salt in it and peppercorns. I will link those two. I mean, maybe you can find them locally, you know, cheaper, but I really do like this. It probably will fill these up maybe three times, I'm guessing, but I will go ahead and link those two. And wow, did I get through? Wait, wait, one more. There's more. One more. 40 items. I'm buzzing through here today, you guys. Look at this. Is this cute? I mean, this has got Nespresso pods in it. Obviously, you can put it, uh, Keurig pods in it, whatever kind of coffee pods you have in your house. We actually have both. My husband, um, he loves the K-Cups, and I love the Nespresso. So we have, you know, both of them in our house, and obviously this works well for both. But isn't it cute? It says coffee on it. The bottom of it is like got a black felt, so it's not gonna scratch anything, but again, just adorable to set next to your coffee maker or if you're setting up a coffee bar. I really think this is adorable. All right, you guys, did it. <laughs> I feel like I was talking really fast, you know. You know, I love sharing this stuff with you, but I, you know, also am, you know, I know your time is valuable, so I'm trying to, you know, get through these as quickly as I can without being on an hour and a half. So, I will see you next time, you guys. Thank you, as always. I really appreciate the opportunity to help you make your house a home. If you like this kind of stuff, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Normally, um, I do coastal decor, farmhouse decor, neutral decor, and coastal grandmother. I mean, do you know what that is? Have you heard that? It's gone insane on TikTok, actually. I mean, it's getting millions of hits, and I've done three uh, YouTubes on it. So go check those out. It's, it's, it's kind of fun. But anyway, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you found something to love today. I'll see you next time.